If you don't know me, my name is Taranjit Singh Rai and yes, I am an award-winning scientist, teacher, lecturer and a football coach. What I'm not is a financial advisor. These videos are totally for entertainment purposes only. Just a quick look at the markets folks. Uh, Bitcoin is hovering around 22, 23. Uh, it's a boring market. It had a little bit of pump. I think that pump was because everything was priced in. Nothing has changed. Bank of England has increased the interest rates to the highest levels since late 90s. Bank of England is also predicting inflation to peak up to 13%. If you look at uh, data analytics, Bitcoin price starts to pump when the peak inflation has hit and you are now on a downward trend. Now, Elon Musk came out yesterday and said he thinks peak inflation has hit. He may very well be right. However, I am not jumping in. Sitting on the sidelines, I have bought a little bit of Bitcoin, a little bit of Ethereum, but that's it. The coin which is holding really, really strong in this bear market is BNB. I just think that exchange is very well run. Uh, yes, there, has, there are some issues in India with Vazirx, but other than that, I think Binance has made regulation its top priority. It is hiring the best people in regulation. And I do think Binance will perform very well. However, I'm still only in Bitcoin and Ethereum, not looking into any other altcoin. So I'm from UK and in UK at the moment, conservative members are choosing UK's next prime minister. And I've been watching some of the hustings and I just was absolutely amazed by one of the candidates, Rishi Sunak. The other candidate is Les Truss. But what he showed the other night, his superior knowledge about blockchain technology, his desire to regulate cryptocurrency so that UK becomes the world leader in crypto regulation has absolutely won me over and you know what i have dug that clip for you so that you only watch what matters to you so here's the clip i think among the two leaders i it's my personal feeling that rishi sunak is more competent is better suited to run the country than liz trust and you know what rishi supported brexit whereas liz supported remain and now we all know the draconian EU Mika regulations. I think this is a golden opportunity for the UK to use this opportunity when we are out of EU now and we can make our own crypto regulations. Have a listen, folks. Hey, Rishi. Um, so Bitcoin has been around for 13 years and uh, but it and other crypto assets are still a rapidly growing industry that can create jobs and extensive prosperity to our country. So what will you do to allow the UK to become a world leader in the Bitcoin and crypto industry. Thank you. <laughs> did, 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 Jimmy, did Jimmy set you up to ask that question, right? So that's, <laughs> look, I, look, I mean, you heard me talk about my experience in California. I'm a deep believer that we should embrace technology and innovation as a way to improve all our lives and make things better, make things cheaper, make things faster. And as chancellor, I, I, you know, I set out actually a really positive vision for how we can get the regulation right to support the innovation in cryptocurrency, not just Bitcoin, distributed ledger technology, the blockchain that underlies it, uh, so that we can reap the benefits. And actually, we've got it right. And the industry was incredibly excited about my proposals, which were better than those in the US, better than those in Europe. And as we've always done in this country, we do things better than those competitors because we know how to regulate flexibly not burden people with red tape because the innovation is going to make everyone's lives better and it's not just about how many bitcoins you can buy it's about how we can change supply chains to make things cheaper help make border and customs processes more efficient how we can actually solve the appointments issue in the nhs using that technology how we can make the cheaper and easier for you all to bank that's the real benefit of all those things and i want the uk to be the home of that innovation and i put us on a path to deliver it as chancellor and as prime minister you better believe i want to see that come to fruition so folks i think this is music to my ears because rishi understands that that bitcoin is just one use of blockchain technology blockchain has potential to revolutionize digital identities blockchain has revolution to actually help our nhs which is struggling at the moment i am from the front line just search what i do in my day job and you'll realize let's say whole genome sequencing data all your app data all your health data can be just secured in a digital lockbox where if a pharmaceutical company wants to access your data they need to pay you now that is decentralization and i think that's what rishi is hinting there that blockchain is not just only for bitcoin or ethereum it is actually the use of blockchain in day-to-day -day life he talks about distributed ledgers he talks about crypto making payments cheap and easy i think this is pretty positive and because uh, both rishi and uh, liz have been working pretty closely i'm thinking even if he wins or not 
not. I think Alice will also be of the same mindset. I have shown you this clip. Could you let me know in comments what do you think? Who should be the next prime minister? And what do you think about this clip that I brought to you that uh, future potential UK Prime Minister has really good understanding of blockchain technology. In other news folks, I think all of you know that Slope Wallet was hacked. All of you know that Nomad Bridge was hacked. I am really concerned about the Nomad Bridge hack because I've been recently investing in FMOS and Nomad Bridge was the main bridge through which FMOS got its liquidity. So I don't know how bad it's going to impact on FMOS. The price has been maintained pretty stable. I was hoping for a dump but it has not happened. So I'm also looking into competitors of FMOS and one of the chains which has copied the code from the github which is an fmos fork is Acleon. however i just think it's slightly better as far as i can say the amount of coverage on Acleon is absolutely sensational there is a wide variety of decentralized exchanges where you can get Acleon from look at the support just like fmos it is evm compatible that basically means any dap on ethereum can easily migrate onto Acleon and also to fmos you can actually trade it on many chains like binance phantom polygon avalanche ethereum Kronos. The future of uh, digital assets is multi-chain. This is another one of the projects which is intra-operable among blockchains. Because it's a fork of FMOS, the tokenomics is pretty same. So you have 1 billion maximum supply, approximately 247 million circulating coins in the ecosystem. Very inflationary, just like FMOS in the beginning. But then there will be a DK model which will be followed in terms of release of tokens. Also guys, if you follow me on Eat Healthy Get Rich Twitter, I actually posted many, many days ago about Acleon when Acleon Osmo pair was giving 3500% APYs. Folks, this is really, really risky. This is a project which has been flooded like crazy last two days on Twitter. And I've been trying to maintain a neutral stand and I'm just trying to stop this self-destruct discussions in Cosmos ecosystem. You can just read threads from both parties and try to make up your own mind. I have made mine. I'm actually holding on to my bags. Full disclosure, yes, I do hold Acleon. And yes, I do hold FMOS as well. Yes, as an investor, I want both projects to do well. However, this guy wrote a medium article where the language used was very unprofessional. The founder of FMOS used him for a founder to cite someone like this. Even though they had apologized for the use of the term bribe, airdrops could be a type of bribe. They were CMDX paid shillers. Uh, the cosmos ecosystem some hatred went towards them but i think everyone deserves a second chance the only concern for me from Acleon is that uh, the, the the founders are not public uh, they are all hidden there have been accusations of this being a rug pull for the moment it is not what can happen in future i cannot predict you need to do your own research unconstructive dialogue the big guys big validators who got so much Acleon from the the Acleon team are now stopping to not validate on the chain one of the validators posted some uh, really intense conversation if if this is indeed the owner of uh, Acleon. Again, this is not a language that is needed in the Cosmos ecosystem. My request to all parties here is just be constructive, tone down. Acleon has said they have accepted that they made a, made a mistake. And as I said, everyone deserves a second chance. They, they should be given a second chance. One of the validators on Cosmos ecosystem uh, literally saying instead of conspiring to halt, just threatening to shut down a chain. It is just crazy. Blockchain is permissionless. If, if you don't like a particular blockchain just yeah I just just don't validate for that particular blockchain but to uh, ask others to to stop validating transactions is not again I, I really like uh, Jacob I have been following him I'm new to Cosmos ecosystem so I've been following a lot of these Twitter influencers but I, I this is my personal opinion folks uh, I don't think uh, this is the right way to approach things. Um, that's all I have to say in this video. If, if you want to enter this debate discussion, send me a comment in my YouTube below or you can actually interact with some of the tweets I put on Twitter. As always, crypto is risky. You need to do your own research. I only talk for myself and this is what my experience was of last two days. I, I just think Cosmos ecosystem doesn't need to self-destruct. That's all I have to say and I'll see you in the next video.